After my video about the iPhone 4S, so many of you guys wanted to know how I managed to install iOS 6.1.3 on that device. And I'm very sorry to disappoint you right in the beginning of the video. The days you just downloaded iOS 6.1.3, opened a certain iTunes version and just performed the easiest and most comfortable downgrade in the history of downgrades are unfortunately over. But that doesn't mean it's impossible to install iOS 6 on your iPhone 4S. And with the way I'll show you in this video, also on your iPhone 4, 5 and iPod Touch 5th gen. Generation. And that will be possible with a dual booter. But I really want you to get an idea what a dual booter is and what happens to your device when you install one. So please give me a minute to explain that and which benefits and disadvantages it comes with so you can decide yourself if it's worth it or not. First of all, what's a dual booter? As you presumably know, your iDevice is equipped with a storage unit where your operating system, your photos, your music, your downloaded porn and your other stuff get stored. With downloading such a dual booter called Cool Booter, the unit will be digitally divided into two partitions. And the new partition will be used to install a second iOS next to your original one. So you theoretically create a new iPhone in your iPhone. The benefits. You can switch between the two operating systems. You can choose out of nearly every for that device available iOS versions. You don't need a computer and as already mentioned, the iPhone 4, 4S and 5 plus the iPod Touch 5th generation are supported. But on the other hand, you have to jailbreak your device and this whole method surprisingly isn't Apple verified. And for sure, nobody knows if your data will be sent to the KGB. Furthermore, you'll lose a lot of storage because of that digital division thingy. What by the way makes the whole method pointless for owners of an 8GB model. So I would really recommend to use at least a 16GB, but even better, a 32 or 64GB device. Above that, you'll be thrown back to your main iOS every time your device runs out of juice or you want to restart it. And then you'll have to perform a one and a half minute sequence of different things to come back. Long story short, don't let your freaking device run out of battery. If you're still convinced to create a Schizophrenia 2 heads iPhone, then we'll start now. I'll show you the whole process on my iPod Touch 5th generation because it would be kind of pointless to sacrifice the legit iOS 6 on my 4S. Step 1. Jailbreaking your device. If your device is jailbroken already, you can skip to these beautiful digits. If that isn't the case, open Safari and Google Panda Helper. Open the first result, then choose regular instead of VIP and download the free version then. Hit install and the application should appear on your home screen. If you would try to open it now, iOS would stop you. To avoid that, we will open the settings and go to general, device management, then we'll hit the developer's name and hit trust. Now you should be able to open the app. After the Panda Helper application forces you to read the introduction, you have to type Phoenix into the search bar and hit search. After that, two results will appear. Choose the one with the cooler icon and the OE fusion letter and install it. By the way, for some reason you have to pretend to go to their Twitter before the download starts. Don't forget that or you will wait a long time. Trust me. Then your OS will ask you again if you would wish to open the digital secure wall gate to let some hacker software in. You hit of course, so install. Then you can open the app and hit prepare for jailbreak. And don't wonder, some dude tries to sell us mixtapes with that jailbreak for some reason. Don't ask me why, just ignore it and be happy that he doesn't sell your data to the KGB. Then you use the provided offsets and the jailbreak will be installed. Just to give you a last tip, if your jailbreak shouldn't work fine or tweaks and apps shouldn't be executed correctly, just open Phoenix again and kick stop the jailbreak. Step 2. Download Coolbooter. Open up CDM. If you're doing that for the first time, it will download some updates. Then you should be able to hit sources. Tap on edit, then add coolbooter.com. And again, CDM will download some stuff and shows you different white, yellow and red lines. After that, you tap on Coolbooter repo and install the first one. Then you can go back to your home screen where a new icon waits for you. Open Coolbooter, hit install and choose any of the available iOS versions you want. Then it will ask you some minorly interesting questions. According to the verbose boot I chose yes, then you can decide if you want to jailbreak your secondary iOS too. Then I hit no and now Coolbooter should start to download your chosen OS. For some reason the app forgot to ask me how much space I want to use for the new iOS. And so I had to do the whole process again later. Another little tip, choose 7 gigs or more to be able to really enjoy that OS. Third step. 
execute your new iOS. After the download and the flashing process are finished, you have to reboot your device. What affects the jailbreak? So open up Phoenix again, kickstart the jailbreak, then open Coolbooter and hit boot. Now you will be requested to lock your device. But wait! Even though it looks like I hit the home button, do not do anything till the device starts to do some crazy hacker stuff itself. If you accidentally hit the home or power button, no problem. You just might to do this to be able to revive your device. And unfortunately you have to repeat the whole third step. While I'm talking, the iDevices of the others should have booted up into the new iOS. To give you some last, additional and important information, every time you restart your device, you'll have to repeat the third step. Above that, iTunes will recognize the device as a whole new, just set it up as a new one. So, thanks for watching. I would really appreciate a thumbs up to show interest to people that this is a legit tutorial and for sure, feel free to check out my other videos. Goodbye and a lot of fun with iOS 6. Adios, amigos.